No my hawking my. People over the age of 48 are finding it increasingly difficult to get a foot in the door when applying for new jobs. But before we start turning older applicants away, there's actually a silver lining in having a silver-haired workforce. To explain is Frog Recruitment Director Jane Canelli. Good morning. Good morning. So what is the silver lining to having the silver-haired foxes in the office? You know, it, there are a range of opportunities for these silver-haired foxes, first of all, but um, it's great benefits of having them in the office, and I think they're often overlooked, Hayley. You know, they're loyal. Statistics show that the mature workforce will stay three times longer than the more millennial workforce. They're flexible. Um, they're wonderful as mentors, and uh, they bring a perspective and insight to the organisation that actually often isn't there and are so definitely required. So, so good news for them. They are, they are well needed in the workforce. It's just that some of the workforces haven't quite worked it out yet. So we kind of need to help encourage people to make sure that they portray themselves really well when they're going for job opportunities. Have we forgotten the value of life experience? I think we have, you know. I think we have in some instances. Um, but having said that, I think there's an obligation for people also to really keep current and keep themselves up to speed with what's happening in the market and to have an energy and a, a passion about what they're doing um, so that they actually do look really engaged with what's happening in the workforce rather than trying to defend their age. And we often see that in the work I do at Frog. You know, people will come in, they've got their arms folded and they're kind of ready to try and do combat. And really what we're saying is, no, 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 don't defend your age, use this as an asset bring through your competencies and your capabilities and talk confidently about what you do, but look energised and look current. And um, those are the sorts of things that really help them. So when you say look current, are you saying sort of spruce up the attire or is it about how you present yourself in general and, and, and your information that you've got? Look, it's actually, you've got to look game on. Mm -hmm. So you do, you know, the old saying of dress well for an interview hasn't changed right. at all for any age. Um, you do need to, you've got to research really well. So these days, um, employers and interviewers expect that you've actually gone to some trouble to find out about them and just turning up and expecting them to kind of want to know everything about you is kind of the wrong way of handling it. Right. So do your research really well. Have your LinkedIn profile. That, that's about looking spruce too. Have your LinkedIn profile really well organised so that when they go there to check you out, and they will, you look great. You've got a great photo, no dark glasses, um, and, and you look like the sort of person that they would want to employ. So basically, um, you've got to look sort of slightly fashionable. You've got to know that, uh, show them that you've researched their company. What else uh, are some barriers that, that older people find when they go to, to get a job? Look, there's probably um, three that I can think of. One, there's this impression that they will cost more, mm -hmm. which is wrong. Because roles, jobs, yeah. jobs cost what jobs cost. Um, there's uh, an impression that they haven't got energy, and that's wrong too. You know, look at the fitness people striding around the streets these days. A lot of them are very mature people. Um, there's also an expectation that they will not be flexible and that they're going to be really set in their ways. And yes, I mean, we do come to the party with a whole lot of things that have happened in our lives, but the secret is to be open to learning, and I think that agility and learning is really important. Amazing. Thanks for your time this morning, Jane Kennelly. My pleasure. Good tip, Jane. Thank you. That is breakfast for today. We are back tomorrow morning from 6. Until then, hey, Kornada. Kakite.